hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so sometime what happens uh, when you get uh, a project related recommendation system either in your company or on fiverr or upwork or whatever platform is uh, the clients what they want from you they want a recommendation system like rating based recommendation system but you have to implement k-means clustering they wanted you to uh, cluster those user uh, who rated products or items three times in single group in different group and also you have to cluster or group those user users uh, who rated five times that particular uh, product so guys in this video we will do the same as in previous project uh, we discussed uh, and we covered and we also coded uh, an end-to-end -end project on Amazon uh, reviews product reviews data set but that time we just use a rating based recommendation system without any uh, algorithm but this time we are using uh, k-means clustering now what is k-means clustering why we use it uh, what is elbow method we will see all these things so first of all you need to open up any notebook either google notebook google collab or you can use uh, kaggle or you can use jupyter notebook on your local machine so before moving forward what i can do <coughs> uh, first let me re revise you the previous pro uh, project so in this project we will be using the same data set okay uh, first of all you have to import all these things okay these things after that you have to add if you are using kaggle then you have to add here a data set as we previously uh, added right here uh, after importing data what we have done in previous video we just saw that how we can take necessary columns for rating based recommendation system uh, uh, we had that time let me show you uh, right here for rating based recommendation system we needed uh, id of user a product id and score score is nothing but it is actually uh, rating either uh, it is three or two or one or five some users uh, gives a three rating to product okay so all this stuff we have discussed <coughs> successfully uh, then we created a pivot table uh, we saw uh, for each user we created a single row with all the products in which we display that particular user like with id1 user we display his all ratings for all products and we have done this uh, things for all users okay uh, then we we also check user ratings uh, and we display uh, 50 recommendation okay now this time we are using rating base the same rec uh, a recommendation system but with k-means clustering now the first question that rise in every and each individual that why we need it we are dealing with rating based recommendation system why we need it so before uh, implementing uh, the coding part let me explain what is k-means clustering and how it works believe me this video is very interesting for you you will cover two things first about k-means clustering second about why we need clustering in recommendation system thirdly you will learn that how to implement the code for such type a real world uh, data set like amazon because nowadays uh, recommendation system are really in demand okay because uh, people create e-commerce website and they need to increase their products or business so they need to uh, display or recommend best items to their users so when they create uh, websites then they also hire data scientists i mean uh, those developers who who are skilled in recommendation systems and you will give you uh, a data set that you have to uh, create my recommendation system so that i could implement it in my website and you will do in couple of lines this thing and you will take uh, a lot of money for that okay so you will learn a lot of things now k means what is k means in simple words k means is used to divide data into different parts okay let's say you have a data set in which you have a lot of products electronic products mm, food products uh, and we can say some other products like uh, homes product let's say we have three categories okay home products electronics products food products now here you have to create three groups in food group you, ha you, you, you will have one group let's say its name is food 
just for simplicity i'm just covering simplicity okay in food you will group all the food related <coughs> products and you will display this products to those users who are interested in food products in second group you will group or cluster those products related electronics and you will display on that e-commerce website uh, electronic products that for, to those users who are interested in electronics and the same thing with goes in the uh, third cluster that was uh, what was that let's say what whatever it was but you you have to group similar items in single group and you will display from that group uh, that product to similar users now how how does it works so for simplicity i am taking uh, two cluster these are my two cluster okay and these are my entire data set instead of product i have taken numbers for simplicity now you 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 could type here product names let's uh, you can type here mobile phone related to electronics and you can also add food related product name you can also add uh, the third one okay now first you have to initialize uh, randomly you have to select from this entire list of products or numbers uh, k cluster centroids now what does it mean so for simplicity what i have done i have taken two centroids one is four you can it's randomly you have to select randomly and believe me you don't need to do it circuit learn will, ha will handle it okay you don't need to do it we will do this thing uh, practically in code so this is four and this is the second centroid point that is 10 now what you have to do you have to calculate all other numbers distant with these two things with this four and ten and you will uh, put all those numbers into this cluster with centroid 4 that are close to 4 and there is a lot of mathematics but I'm not going to cover that mathematics there you have to use Euclidean distance a lot of things so just think here 1 is 1 is closer to 4 and 1 is closer to 10 so what is the possibility that it is more closer to 4 or more closer to 10 so definitely 1 is more closer to 4 so we'll put it into this cluster and 2 3 4 uh, 5 6 7 these are the points or products that are more close or more similar to this centroid so we put it into this cluster now this is my let's say electronics cluster group the second group let's say this is food wala group okay yeah food wala ab is ko is tarah samajh sakte ho yeah food wala hai so in this cluster what i have done i have taken all the points or you can say products that are most close or similar to 10 and that's uh, definitely it's at 9 11 uh, 12 13 14 so in this way it works now in our case what is what's happened because we are dealing with ratings and there are five categories one rating some users give one rating some users give two rating three rating four rating five rating so if you ask me then honestly it's not a good choice to use uh, k-means clustering in this case because we have only uh, four or five categories which are quite quite close to each other but still uh, if we use this k-means clustering what will happen we will cluster all those users in this cluster who rated that particular product with three score let's say uh, on our website there are 10 users uh, who rated some uh, products three times and they let's say they give three scores or you can say rates so we'll cluster all those users into this cluster and those user who rated five times into this cluster and with four into this cluster and it will work in this way now you can search about k-means clustering the mathematics how it works but still believe me i really explain it in a very simple way before implementing the coding part what i can do i can just show you that why we use uh, k-means clustering in recommendation system so first thing uh, when we when we interested to group similar items as we already discussed electronic items into electronic cluster food items into food cluster home items into home cluster our user segmentations uh, this is quite interesting sometime you will face such type of uh, project from your company up or upwork or fever when the client want that i have a data set of my company uh, of my uh, of my clients or uh, customers you have to cluster uh, those uh, mm, those customers who bought uh, uh, let's say they buy things uh, with a hundred dollars so you have to cluster all those users who bought things from that client shop with hundred dollars in one cluster 
and he will also ask you that you have to cluster all those users or clients that bought my things with $300 so that I could recognize that this particular customer uh, buy my uh, items from my shop with $300 and this one with $100 and in this uh, case in this scenario we also use Gammons clustering uh, for scalability we also use and in interpretability we also use uh, Gammons clustering okay now what is this thing for now let me skip this part so let's implement our rating based recommendation system so I am not uh, implementing uh, this from start because we have covered something previously as we important the data set and we also create a pivot table of all user in which uh, we created a single row for each user with all the products and rated okay so what I've done I've just uh, in imported k-means clustering algorithm k-means now in this you have to specify the number of clusters how many clusters you want to create uh, uh, like we 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 created here just let me show you we created here two cluster that was randomly okay but here I am going to use five clusters okay and random state is 42 and this is optional thing and there are a lot of more options but for now let me skip it because this is a for now it let let's keep it simple okay so after that you have to create an object of it now this is the Cummins uh, object and here you have to use fit predict method in which you have to pass the pivot table in which you have users with uh, ratings okay now what we have done we have just store uh, cluster labels now it will cluster all those users uh, in one cluster that has rated the product or item three times and it will also do for the other cluster clusters as well okay uh, so if you check as you can see here now it's uh, a big array single dimension array with clustering okay now the first thing how we know that we have to use here five cluster how we know it know it for that you have to use elbow method so elbow method what elbow method do it just give you the best number for your clusters uh, for that you have to use some coding like matplotlib library then you have to use uh, wcss now what do, what does it mean so let's explore it so just right here in the elbow method we are actually varying the number of clusters that normally we uh, run a loop from 1 to 10 for each value of k we are actually calculating within cluster sum of square okay now within cluster sum of squared or you can say wcss is the sum of the square distance between each point and the centroid in a cluster so when you run this uh, piece of code you will get such type of plot now I am not going again in mathematics but I will show you that how you have to select <coughs> the best cluster number so your clustering uh, your plot will be uh, decreasing okay and the moment you get that it goes straight it goes straight toward x axis then this is the best elbow point for you now here as you can see it was like straight but here it turned a bit toward x axis but again uh, it turned toward x axis but this time it was uh, straight till the end so this point is the best point for me so it is actually 5 but what happen what will happen in our case uh, in our case if it, for that what you have to do this code you have to initialize an empty list and maximum uh, cluster you want to run a loop for it and that is 10 so what I've done I've just run this loop from 1 to uh, 10 so it will be yeah it will be 10 so after that in k means uh, I specify number of clusters uh, okay and I also specify uh, a random step now this are number of cluster comes from here and it will come 10 times so k means then you have to put the pivot table then you have to append the inertia okay within this empty uh, wcss now here you have to plot how to plot again from 1 to 10 uh, with this list and here just x and y titles uh, or whatever you call it and album at the title and show after running this piece of code you will get this plot now how to recognize this, uh, this plot 
because this is quite messy okay so sometimes what happens you, know, you don't know how to select the best cluster okay so in that case you ignore this part or you can randomly select like you can take eight or you can take six but the best thing you have to do uh, in this case i have to i have i want to go with five okay with five that is not the best choice but still i want to go with five because i'm not getting uh, a best point or curve for our elbow point for my uh, clustering so after that i have just defined uh, user id uh, let's say i'm going to uh the first user with id one for that i want recommendation okay now how to do that i will pause this in cluster labels with user id negative one and i'll store user cluster label i am taking just uh in my cluster i am taking this specific user this i'm grabbing this specific user from cluster labels and cluster labels are nothing but all this uh there are like here this cluster labels okay i'm taking just this particular user after that what i am doing uh i want to get all users in the same cluster as the given user okay uh, i i'm just taking the other users that are in the same cluster for that i have used pivot table and i'm taking uh, on base of index so this this is the cluster labels with uh they're all user present okay and these are my this my specific user so if in cluster level tables okay not tables it was tables so um, yeah this one yeah perfect so if there are similar users to this particular user then tag it so after using that you will get your user in the same cluster now after that this code is nothing but i've just uh, take the average uh, rating uh, of the user in the same cluster if this same if this cluster if the same cluster there are users with different uh, with all the same ratings i'm doing to take mean okay nothing else and this is the new variable where i stored average ratings after that i'm just sorting the values because there you will see these are in ascending order but i want in descending order so i've just used average rating will be uh, sort values and here I just specify ascending will be false and this is my sorting ratings for this single cluster with similar users okay and I'm just displaying this cluster users and this this is the result and here what we have done uh, top k recommendations and sorted ratings dot head k that is 10 I want to display 10 users from this cluster okay and after that I'm just displaying this message with that specific ID and I'm running a low because I have 10 recommendation so I'm taking the product ID and the rating uh, in this top recommendation dot items okay and I'm just displaying the product ID and rating and after that you will get this result so in the next video we will be covering user based recommendation system that is mostly and most commonly used nowadays so if you have liked this video then please subscribe to my channel and also like this video and if you have any question related to this concept then please type in the below comment section and i will definitely answer